Hey everyone, so we are here in Simple Plains today. Uh, I put up a poll on the community tab and people voted for this, so this is what you're going to get. What we're going to be doing today is similar to what we did on stream. Basically, one of the things that we made was this as an example. It was a plane and now it's a car with rockets. I've got a few more examples to show you before we get started. So another thing that we made was this. Uh, yes, it is a jet, but it has five jets and we attempted to break the land speed record with it, but kind of failed. As well as... So I forgot to show you, I wanted to show this before, but this is the only plane I've actually made in-game. And I think what we're going to do today is we're going to take this plane, which is not particularly good, and we will turn it into a car, because why not? So it used to be called Kill Me, and now it's going to be called Kill Me 2 the perfect name. So the first thing we need to do is clip its wings. It does not need wings anymore. It is not going to be flying, hopefully. Uh, we'll keep the back section for now. I mean, we, we need some sort of steering. Uh, these wheels are just not going to work, so we can get rid of those. These wheels as well, they, we're not going to need those. Uh, so let's put some car style wheels on it. So they're over in the landing gear section, just resizable wheels. Uh, we can, oh, we can put them way far up, which is good. What we're going to do is design one side and then just mirror it. So if we do that, then we can go to the wheel settings and make them much, much bigger. 2.5 just seems right. We won't come into contact with the ground doing that, so it's going to be good. By the way, I should probably mention, I don't know what I'm doing with this game. Like, I'm very much just guessing, so please just uh keep that in mind all right i'm just checking to make sure i have it right so the roll input is what we need for the steering wheels so let's go back to our new aircraft and make that change yeah so all i'm doing is just making sure that we can actually turn so roll perfect and we just have to mirror it i think okay that that's the one let's give this a quick test so i have got the racetrack unlocked and we're totally going to be trying it except i forgot how to change the view okay never mind figured it out uh we should be able to get it then if we can push our rockets forward we should be able to drive so we are moving forward incredibly slowly but there definitely is something wrong with this it seems like we're just going to need more rockets okay after a quick reset it seems to be working apparently my view changing messed it up oh it's quick oh my goodness well that is our first attempt so can't complain too much about that. We have fallen into... Well... Okay, there we go. We hit the ground. Right, so I've decided to try again, but on the road. So it's a little bit floaty, uh, but we can get up to some serious speed. Oh, goodness. Well, it's basically a plane at this point. Right. I don't know how, but somehow we've created something that's actually decent. Except for one issue, and that is it's still trying to fly. So let's get rid of that. Uh, one thing that we tried to do on the last stream was um, angle the wings in a little bit and that would cause them to hopefully bring down force to the car but well i think those ones are just going to be for style at this point we might just need to add more weight so i am deleting all of the interior pieces here because my intention is to turn them into fuel tanks and hopefully that weighs more than just a regular piece all right there we go all fuel tanks and I, well, I mean, we have a lot of fuel now. I should have been looking at the weight down here. That was dumb. Okay, let's give it another shot. And back again on the track. Let's try and be more controlled, maybe. That could potentially help us. It seems like putting the throttle up to 97% just results in flips and damage. There we go. Now it's actually moving. Oh my goodness. Okay, it is very, very uncontrolled. We may need to extend the front wheels out considerably. Or make rear turning wheels. I don't know. Oh, in red it looks good. It actually it looks a lot better than I thought it would as a car. But we just need to do more to it. I'm thinking, like, it's super low here. Which is nice. But we can probably get away with another rocket or two. And that'll give us some more speed. Right, so I'm just adding rockets at this point. I feel that the extra weight is not a bad thing. And we might as well use up the fuel that we've got as well. Why not? And they just need some inlets. There we go, oh, and there we go. All right, this might be a little worse than it was, but let's try it. Goodness, it's still super floaty. 
and explodey as well. Oh wow, okay, it looks really sweet though. I think we might have to just add some engines all down the middle, or just like a heavy block as a ballast, because weighing 10,000 pounds just doesn't seem to be enough. Right, so car engines weigh a lot, so I'm just putting a big strip of them right down the middle, and my hope is that that'll help with traction in the form of weight. Because we've just gained like 2,000 pounds, that's got to do something. Right, so it's making a lot more noise. It feels more planted, and then we just did literally- oh, but it landed. So I can just drive it with the regular engines as well, which is nice. But it just seems to be so quick. Hey, it's actually driving like a real car now. I'm surprised, it's a drift machine. Just gotta turn off the boost. Oh, not bad. I can't believe it, like... Somehow we have created something that sucks down, what is that, 25% of its fuel in like less than a minute? It's actually a really sweet drifter as well. I'm sure that you're being deafened right now by the noise it makes, but yeah, not bad. If only we could get it to go in a straight line though. Like, we just need some of that straight line speed. Oh, um, never mind. Right, so I think that the extra engines were a mistake. We just need something that is as heavy as engines but not engines because they are very loud and quite annoying maybe more fuel tanks so it seems like fuel tanks might have been the answer we've been looking for this entire time it's just that the engine is pointing directly at them so if this explodes instantly then hey at least it'll be fun to watch okay maiden voyage it does move still that's a bonus um <laughs> oh goodness well, it's really hard to control the throttle this way. I mean, it's always like just a touch up and then you raise the percentage, but as long as you keep control of it, it'll actually drive. And then you just have to like, there are actually brakes as well, but I'm just not using them. I'm using the throttle instead. Yeah, see if I have the throttle up, I can hit the brake and just cut it completely. We could try air brakes as well. Actually, that might be worth a try. All right, 68% throttle. Can we, oh, never mind. Let's just take off into the water. Even though we're, it's louder and louder, we are not going any faster. If we just leave it straight, it'll get up some serious speed. See this? And now we've made a jet boat. So I've come up with a plan to help this drive a little bit better than it has been, and that is air brakes. If we put a bunch of these on, one, it's weight, so that helps, and then two, we should be able to stop a lot easier. More air brakes, the better. Oh, we can totally put them over top of all the gas tanks, too. Hey, this is actually turning into something. Okay, there's the test right there. The air brakes actually do work. Let's try it. Um, I'm, I'm still avoiding this track, and it's still causing us the same issues. <laughs> Goodness. Well, we lived through that, so I guess it's a bit of a miracle. Okay, back into chase view. Let's go around... Here, if I pull, whoa, they just jump up. There we go. But see, if I if I pull down on the throttle, the air brakes go up, or if I hit the brake, the air brakes go up. So that should help us in our pursuit of stopping. They are a little bit laggy, though I will admit. But let's try and just slowly accelerate. Oh, so slowly. Up the giant green ramp, and it kind of twisted itself. Well, I guess that's what you expect with this thing. It looks good while it's doing it, though. Right up until the end. I think that there's just a layer that this is just missing now. How about some weaponry? Right, so we can put miniguns on it. Uh, two miniguns. I don't even know how to use weaponry in this game. What about countermeasures? I can probably put those on the back. There we go. So we've got countermeasures. We've got miniguns. It's time for a death race. Okay, so I figured out how to fire the miniguns. It's just the right trigger. I don't know how to fire the countermeasures though, but I think we're just gonna have to stick with miniguns for now. Nothing to shoot at currently, apparently there's a bomber. Oh, it doesn't even need to come over. Right, attempt two. At least we have miniguns now. Uh, countermeasures still pending. Oh, okay, almost broke them. Come on. Ah, darn, now we need to make it self-writing. I was thinking another game I could totally play on here once again. If you've looked past him, if you've looked in the past at my old videos, you know I used to play Besiege. I could totally play that on here. I haven't played it in years, but I'm definitely willing to, if that's something you want to see. I know that you can spawn in enemies, by the way. I just don't know how to make it work. All right, I figured out the the way to launch the countermeasures. We just have to get up to some speed, and then 
Nah, that was it. They're not particularly exciting. See? That's what countermeasures are. I guess it's more of just a, like, you're supposed to dodge the missiles with it, but... In this case, we've got no missiles to dodge. And so, the birth of a legend. The rocket car with miniguns, countermeasures, and enough rocket fuel to last for at least 10 minutes. It's flawless, in every sense of the word. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun making it. It might be a little bit shorter than usual, but that's just kind of how it is. Uh, those of you who voted for Simple Planes, hopefully this is what you wanted to see. Uh, I've kind of made something a little bit odd. I mean, I usually do, but yeah. It looks pretty decent, if you ignore all the fuel tanks. Anyway, let me know what you think, and I'll see you again on Friday for another automation video. We're almost done with the cars that we'll be doing for this season, so get hyped for that. Yeah, I'll see you then.